all the faces of a three-dimensional shape are laid flat on its net. So, to find the surface area of a three-dimensional shape, we simply find the area of its net, or the sum of the area of its faces. Let's find the surface area of this cuboid with side H, W, and L. First, we find the area of the rectangle on the left and on the right. Area of rectangle is H times W. And since there are two rectangles of the same size, it's 2 times HW. Then we find the area of the top and bottom faces. Area of the rectangle here is W times L. And since the two rectangles are of the same size, it's 2 times WL. And finally, we want to find the area of the front and back faces. Area of rectangle here is H times L. And since the two rectangles are of the same size, it's 2 times HL. So this is the surface area of this cuboid. We want to find the surface area of this pyramid with a square base. Now, if we open it up and get the net of this pyramid, we can see that it is made up of one square base and four triangles. First, the area of the square is 6 times 6, which is 36 cm square. Next, we want to find the area of the triangle face. Let's look at the triangle. It has a base of 6 cm and a slanting side of 5 cm. To find the area of a triangle, we need to know the height of this triangle, which is this line, that is perpendicular to the base. It bisects the base into two equal half. So now let's look at this right angle triangle. Since it is a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagoras theorem to find the height. And the height is square root of 5 square minus 3 square. And we will get 4 cm. Now we want to find the area of the triangle. Area of triangle is 1 over 2 times base times height. Now base is 6 cm. Note that it is 6, not 3 cm. Height is 4 cm. We just got it. And the area is 12 cm square. To get the surface area of this pyramid, we add up all the faces. First, the square base is 36. And there are 4 triangles, so we add 4 times 12. And the surface area is 84 cm. 